Okay, next up we have Sina Boyak from the Labour Party. Hi, and first of all, I want to thank Pedal and Parliament for going against the predictions of the weather. I was expecting this to be really wet, possibly hailstones. It's magnificent weather, it's a brilliant turnout for our fourth get together. I'm glad that the Minister has committed to more money year on year. We need a bit more clarity and a bit more transparency so we can track the money year on year. And we also want to make sure it links into our railway network, our bus network, our new tram network in Edinburgh. We need to make sure that active travel links into all parts of our life, whether it's education, whether it's building new hospitals that you can actually get to. We need to make sure that cycling is not something on the side that is added in afterwards. It needs to be completely integrated into our planning and transport network. I said to my colleague, um, Andrew Burns, why don't you give a speech this year because of what you're doing in Edinburgh? And he went, no, no, it's Pedal on Parliament, the clues in the name. But I do want to mention the fact that a lot of what needs to be done needs to be done at the local level. It needs to be supported by the Scottish Government. My colleague Claudia Beamish has got a great idea which the cross-party group in cycling is supporting. They would say, let's have a good exemplar scheme, back it up with real money, get all the local authorities to compete against each other to come up with the best scheme and then roll it out across the country. I love the fact that Glasgow is now trying to compete with Edinburgh to be the best cycling city in Scotland. And I love the fact we've had a pedal on Parliament to Aberdeen today. We need these kind of demonstrations and celebrations across the whole country because we need every community, every school, every workplace, every hospital, every train station needs to be properly accessible to cyclists with decent parking and safe routes. There's a lot being done but we need an awful lot more to do and I give you our commitment that we'll not just work to support what's happening, we'll do the responsible job of opposition to push the government to do more. So more money, more clarity, more long-term investment, join up the dots and crucially make sure that we use this institution to maximise support for cycling but also make sure it happens at the local level as well because it's the day-to-day -day cycling experience. There are nearly 40% of our households in Edinburgh have bikes but only 10% of us cycle to work. So it's got to be integrated into every aspect of our lives. I'm in charge of our Labour Party Policy Forum and if you give me ideas, I commit that I will look at them and we'll try and have the most radical proposals we've had so far. But for me, it's got to be long term. It's got to be cross party. It's got to be more radical. When the money is spent for the fourth road bridge, there's going to be space in the transport budget. Let's make sure you lobby for 20s plenty, more routes locally, more segregated cycle routes, and more money for local government so that they can do the job locally. It's got to be a joined up approach by all levels of government. And finally, I'll finish on this point. We've got to look at the issue about crashes. They're not accidents, they're crashes where people get injured, people die, and people get hurt. Let's have a proper analysis across the country so we understand what's happening there and so that can inform future transport planning so we make this a safer country to cycle in. Thank you very much and keep up the lobbying, not just the day but, ye but year on year, month on month. Edinburgh's got a c consultation about the bus lanes. Are you happy with that? Do you want it changed? Well, lobby. If you're happy about George Street being cycle-friendly, lobby. If you're happy about Leith Walk getting incrementally con converted, lobby. Change needs pressure, and you are the best people to bring the right kind of change. So use your voice, use your email keyboards, and come and talk to us afterwards. And let's make Scotland a proper cycle-friendly country. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And I, I was about just, I'll just mention just that I cannot stress enough how important it is to keep contacting your MSPs and your councillors and other people. It's incredibly important. It does make a huge difference.